Hi everybody, my name is James, and today I'll be discussing the topic of climate change, but specifically how climate change affects the migration patterns, but not of animals, but of humans. So, as most Floridians know, there are people called snowbirds, and we call them snowbirds because they only come down to Florida when it starts snowing, and that can be really, really frustrating for traffic patterns and for even wait times at restaurants among other things like shortages at different grocery stores or just longer wait times for literally anything, especially at common theme parks such as Disney, Busch Gardens, Universal, you name it. So snowbirds, they can be really, really frustrating, but they also bring with them a lot of business in the form of creating more customers at restaurants. Literally everything that I just discussed that is annoying about them also has a positive financial impact in most cases. So Florida specifically, um, we had about 5.2 million people that migrated to Florida permanently last year. And because of that, Florida is currently the second most populated state in the entire nation, which is kind of astounding when you think of states that are as large as California or Texas or even states that have huge cities like New York or Chicago. It's pretty astounding, um, especially since most of Florida is still wetlands. So because of this, Florida has not only been affected within the retail industry and restaurant industry due to an influx in people, but also the housing market has been significantly impacted. So this means that a lot more people are building homes here, there's a lot more developments that are going in, and even a lot more condos along coastal areas, or just any lakes either. So this, these areas in particular, like any woodlands where developments are being put, those are very important habitats for certain animals such as the Florida panther or even the sandhill crane, and especially animals that are on an endangered species list um, or have been on a endangered species list or watch list in the past such as the snapping turtle. This is, or the gopher turtle, um, this is really really important because without these animals um, the Florida ecosystem could be actually messed up in some circumstances. So, like, without a predatory animal such as the Florida panther, some producer animal or some animal that could be classified as a pest or a rodent might have too much freedom and they might their population size might go out of control with the decline in a superior predator. So, this is really, really important to keep in mind, especially when developing communities, and this is why a lot of um, a lot of activists have been trying to create more parks and more national parks specifically. One national park that's very important to us is the Florida Everglades. Now, the Florida Everglades has actually shrunk recently just because of how many developing communities there are, especially in Florida and in and around the Miami area, um, as Miami is a very popular area, and the Everglades is relatively close to Miami. Um, as many of you know, the Everglades is almost directly in between us and Miami, so there's a lot of land there, but that's also a lot of possible opportunity for developments and future entertainment centers there, which can be very scary to think about as far as the impact of ecosystems, but is also very exciting to think about if you're thinking about markets and an increase in business and draw to the area. So with all of these new people coming to the area, this also brings up a topic of invasive, invasive species. So one example of invasive species that was brought into Florida by um, people was the bow constrictor. And this is the, the that snake is very very harmful especially in the Everglades because it 
takes up a lot of the food for natural predators such as alligators and other large predators in the Everglades. It takes up a lot of their food sources so that they don't have as much to go around. And this is a really, really important topic when people are migrating permanently down here to make sure that they don't introduce any species that could negatively impact the ecosystem. So um, in conclusion, it's very, very important when people permanently migrate to Florida to keep in mind how they impact the local ecosystems as far as development and invasive species as well. Thank you. Bye.